given the fairy loot throne of glass <laughs> debacle and just honestly book subscription boxes actual role in bookish culture i thought you know why not have a video where we actually go into it and examine it just a bit so how about we do just that let's get into it <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. For those of you who are new, welcome. It's so great to have you join our little community. My name is Shelley, obviously a book lover and not just reading books, but also just discussing everything to do with books. And that includes the bookish community, bookish culture, just the literary world in general. And today we are going to be looking at the book box phenomenon. Now, I don't know how many of you have actually subscribed to a bookish box in the past or even are currently subscribed but i remember when i first discovered them i <laughs> i felt like i had been left out of a secret and i was so hurt because what would happen was when i first joined bookstagram you know i was just like oh my goodness where are people getting like these cool like sprayed edges and where are they getting these cool bookish trinkets like these daggers and even these cute designed mugs like where are they getting all these fun trinkets for the sprayed edges i knew that you know some books came sprayed and some books you know were special editions from your actual bookstore like waterstones or if you're in the u.s barnes and noble so I knew that, you know, those stores would sometimes have, you know, sprayed edges, but people would also have stenciled edges with like really, really elaborate designs. And I'm like, I'm feeling left out. Like, are you guys doing it yourselves? Like, what's going on? And then I came across Fairy Loot. I came across Illumicray. I came across Alcray. I came across the Bookish Box, all kind of like in the same, you know, space and time. And I was so hurt because people were subscribed and i came across them because someone was doing an unboxing and i was just like wait a minute is this where you're getting it is this where you're getting this and then i found all of the bookish boxes and i'm like why has no one actually told me like guys are we not meant to be friends on this space are we not a community why have you guys been so hush hush i don't know it felt weird because they hadn't been hush hush. People always spoke about, you know, the book boxes that they were subscribed to and, you know, ooh, what would the books be? I just, I guess, never came across that content. And if you are on social media, even back then, the algorithm kind of played in your face like that. So you wouldn't be that surprised, especially if you had never been looking for book boxes before. You probably, there, you know, wouldn't come across it as much. So the algorithm played in my face. It's all right. It's all right. Eventually... I came across a book box and I loved it. Now, when I first joined Bookstagram, it was in the pandemic. And at that point, I was even doing my master's. So there was quite a lot going on. And so in that moment in time, I'm just like, yeah, I'm not sure I can commit to subscribing monthly. So I just kind of lived through the screen. I was living vicariously through every single person. Like every month when they would release their themes, I'd be like, oh my goodness, that looks so cool. And then I'd get so, so, so sad when I saw a book that I wanted and I wasn't subscribed. I think the straw that broke the camel's back for me was when Daughter of the Moon Goddesses um, design came out. And I saw everyone's book and I said, you know what, we're going to have to find room in the budget because I cannot believe I missed out on this cover, this stenciled edge, all of it. And so I subscribed and with, um, with Illumicrate and Fairy Loot, there's basically like a two month waiting period before you can actually, you know, get your subscription. So I still missed the next two months, but I wasn't too fussed. It was really just Daughter of the Moon Goddess that really, really got to me because it's one of my favorite books. So mm, I still kind of want that book, but another problem for another day. And so I was subscribed. And so I started receiving these cute trinkets and just these amazing, amazing sprayed edges. Like I actually have 
an entire shelf that's dedicated to the sprayed edges that I got from my subscription boxes. And for those of you who don't know, from my own subscription box, because I did, you know, and I actually do have a subscription box, but we've changed the way we operate where we're not doing subscription boxes, but we're doing just bookish products. Um, and so we're going to work, we're working currently on a relaunch. So we're still going to offer bookish products. And every now and then we will release a special box, but it won't be, you know, just regularly as it used to be before because that's what people were requesting. They're just like, I want to buy things on the go instead of waiting for something to be released, you know, on the month. And I heard it and I responded to it. Now, that aside as to like my experiences with subscription boxes, let's actually go into like the whole reason that subscription boxes are popular. And it's not even just book subscription boxes. There are subscription boxes for like everything, for every hobby, even hobbies you wouldn't think of, there are subscription boxes. And when I was, when I was like looking into subscription boxes, I was so blown away because there's one for everything. Things I would never have thought of. I was also looking, I was just like, who is buying these? But some of these boxes are really popular and I'm just like, okay. I just didn't know that, you know, there was such a wide array of like interesting hobbies. I know that people get into a lot, but wow, I didn't know you guys had such a big community. Anyway, one of the main reasons that subscription boxes are so popular, not just in the book world, but just, you know, for humans is because there's, you have this tailored experience because like I said, there's a variety of subscription boxes. So regardless of what you're into, you can find a subscription box that's catered to you and it's tailored to you. So even in the book world, there is subscription boxes for different genres. So I love fantasy. So that's why Fairy Loot, Illumicrate were my boxes. But there are other subscription boxes. There are boxes that focus on like romance, um, box boxes that focus on like horror. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw a horror subscription box out there. But yeah, like it's tailored to you. And so it really just enhances you know, even that excitement for getting that book because every month or every two months, however, like, you know, your subscription box runs, you are just anticipating what's to come. And it really just hypes you up because you, you know that this box is curated to something that I love, that I am passionate about. And it's made for me to really just light up and to enjoy what I'm doing. And so I think that's one of the main reasons that like subscription boxes are really just so popular because even obviously like it's not like it's tailored to you like one on one, but still it's catered to your interests. It's like someone is taking note of what you enjoy, what you, you know, what you do in your free time. And they said, I've made something just for that, just for you. And so it's really just like this catered experience that can enhance your own experience of what you love. Now let's hone into like book subscription boxes and you know reasons why they are so popular in the bookish community. Now obviously just like just in general with subscription boxes you know it caters to you. One of the best things with subscription boxes book subscription boxes is that you get to discover new. You get to discover new authors and you can even discover new like sub genres within that genre that you have you know gone into. For example in fantasy, with the fantasy subscription boxes, some boxes might just be catered to YA, but some boxes even have like different segments where they can like cater to adult fantasy. And even in fantasy, whether it's YA or, you know, adult, you have different subgenres of fantasy, like romanticy, that's really just becoming a very, very popular subgenre within the fantasy genre. You, high, you have high epic fantasies as well. And so you are discovering like new fat, like you are discovering new subgenres of a genre that you have already adored. Like for me, I love YA fantasy and I even, I, I've begun to love adult fantasy, but it was even through like some of the sprayed edges or really just even being a part of the book community and seeing the books that they've received that I started to even enjoy romanticy more. If you know me, you know that, you know, when it comes to romance, I have a, you know, a very interesting relationship when it comes to romance and books, and that includes romance books, especially when it comes to fantasy. I have a very, very interesting relationship with it. But yeah, I've really come to adore romanticy. I'm not afraid to say it. Um, and definitely like being exposed to new books that I wouldn't have ordinarily picked up in my day to day shopping allowed for that. And more than that, it also allowed me to discover new authors. And that is absolutely amazing. It's great. 
to actually you have your favorite authors we all know that we have our favorite authors authors that we would flock to um and when you're reading those authors or even buying those authors you sometimes get recommended authors from them but there are other authors that you wouldn't have heard of if it weren't for like subscription boxes or like seeing other people reveal what they got in their subscription boxes so that opportunity to broaden your horizons is definitely one thing I say um, book subscription boxes are great for and why they're so popular in the bookish space. There's also like this enhanced community experience, if I could say that, because there's such engagement for those who subscribe. And even as you, you heard from me, those who don't subscribe, I wasn't subscribed to like the subscription boxes for a while. And after a while, I unsubscribed because like I said, money is very important to me. <laughs> And I was still engaging with those who had it. You know, I was participating. Well, not participating, but I was watching the unboxings. I loved watching the unboxings. Even when they had competitions um, on some of the pages where they'd be like, who can take the best photo? Like, you know, this box of, you know, the month of May. Like, it'd be so great to really kind of see what they got. Like, I feel like, and part of... um. And I saw this as well when reading comments from the book haul video that I made. We kind of just, we love kind of living vicariously through people. And it's not even just out of a, you know, I can't do it myself. But sometimes we actually love to see other people's experiences. I don't know what about it is so intriguing to us. But we really do enjoy doing that and like seeing other people, seeing other people's experiences and their joy and just how much fun they're having. And also sometimes we can't do it. So it's great to kind of just live vicariously to you because we're, you know, we're broke or we're cheap. One of the two. <laughs> and so you get like, you know, these opportunities for community engagement, like, the book unbox, you know, like the unboxings of the subscription boxes, but also like, you know, the competitions that they have. Some people start book clubs where they, you know, they'll subscribe to a subscription box and they can read the subscription box of the month. Like it's just so many opportunities to actually get closer in the community. Because if you, if you're in the book community, I think one thing that you'll see is a lot of reasons, one of the reasons that a lot of people join is to find their community, is to find friends, is to find people with the same interests and to really just find your space. And, you know, the book box community is one that's friendly. It's another space within the book community that you have an opportunity to join. And so it just allows for, you know, that engagement and that like friendship and camaraderie. The book boxes also, they kind of enhance the reading experience in ways that you wouldn't think so with a lot of the books that are included in the book boxes they'll have extra you know they'll have like a signed breastplate and they'll also kind of have like really really cool end designs like end cover designs and when you get obviously we get our regular books and we don't have that and when you get like this stunning end cover design it's great and then most books boxes usually include a print of the book in question and that is super fun because when you're reading the book one thing that you're going to do is imagine the characters in your head with the descriptions that are given and especially if this is a book that has already been released like you know a while back and you already have the picture in your head to now have it in print just be like yes i can see you really just enhance you're just like this is exactly what i thought you would look like you know they'll include bookmarks with the characters as well or bookmarks with the quotes or like really just like really very stunning bookmarks that are just cute so you're kind of just like obviously if if you're reading and obviously you need a bookmark if you're like me you can use anything as a bookmark but i also have a very extensive collection of bookmarks so reading and then having to put this like really really beautiful stunning bookmark in your book it really just makes that experience better like i don't know how to explain it but it does like you have this i have like um a few beautiful stenciled bookmarks um and you could just kind of you know you put it in there and you're like wow this stencil is so gorgeous sometimes you're, you're even stuck in admiration before you put it in your book like it's just it's just so fun like all these little mini things that make the reading experience that much more enjoyable or exciting like even the trinkets that you get like you know if you get like a, a dagger replica you'll be like oh i'm that girl you know you know just like she was out here often everybody who tried to mess with her i'm that girl like yes it's ceramic and i can't really kill anybody nor can i fight or do anything but you know what for a moment i'm that girl you know it's just <laughs> it really just takes you like 
when you're reading, you already go to a different place. You go into their world. You're, you know, you're seeing the world through their eyes. You're in their universe. And, you know, having like a replica weapon just helps with it. You're just like, you know, I'm ready to take out everybody. Like, we'd be doing a lot, but you just be ready. And also, if you're a cosplayer, it might help. It might help. It might help. And one thing I definitely got into because of the book subscription boxes is the enamel pins. I think there are some things that kind of, you know, left society that just need to be brought back. You know, like enamel pins and brooches, like just to put on your lapel, to put on your collar. Like, honestly, it's a vibe. It's honestly a vibe. It just gives that air of, ooh. And you know what? When you have an enamel pin that's a dagger and a crown, that you know, that's, you know, a beautiful, a beautiful woman with a crown on her head, a beautiful woman with a great quote. When you have these like amazing, like very unique, distinct things on your lapel or on your shoulder, just Mm, it just enhances your fit so it goes beyond enhancing your read you know your reading experience it inf it enhances you know you sometimes you know get a bit of mm. like the the boxes sometimes come with jewelry you know like a pendant you know a bracelet just things that are related to the books and it's just great because not it doesn't just enhance your reading experience but also it's this thing about taking your reading past the book if like for a lack of a better word or phrase because I have some items like the pins that obviously I can leave my house with it and I just always carry it you know I always carry these things with me as kind of just like reminders of my favorite books or books you know that I've read and I've enjoyed the experience like whenever I, I take a glance at it I can remember oh what scene that is this design based on and just whether I enjoyed it the emotion that made me feel it's just, it allows you even past reading the book to still be able to experience your books in little, little ways and just little bursts. And I think that's super, just, it's just so sweet because, you know, when you're reading, guys, you understand, like reading does something to us. Like there's just a connection with the books we read and the characters we read that a lot of times we don't want to let go. And we just hold a piece of the book with us at all times in, you know, the products that we get. And it's just really, really sweet. So bookish boxes they allow you to enhance your your experience of not just reading but just being a reader in so many ways so it just has great appeal because it allows everyone who has subscribed to do just that and of course more than that if you are a collector or if you have like collector tendencies then the bookish box is like perfect for a collector like i know people who started their collections because of bookish boxes like i said i've now like just have this love for pins that even though i'm no longer subscribed to you know any bookish boxes i kind of just shop for pins like i just look around for pins and bookish boxes gave me like this love for book art i always used to see it online and loved it but now i'm just like actually I want a whole curated collection of my own, of just characters that I love. Yes, a lot of the art that I have are, you know, from the boxes that I've been given. But I have been hunting down art of for characters that I love from some of my favorite books. And I definitely love it. Like, being a collector is fun. I know a lot of people are just like, I don't get collecting. But being a collector is fun. I, like, to, to explain the art, and the enjoyment behind collecting is a whole different video because it's not even just book and bookish item collection. Collectors are all around the world and they collect a lot. They collect a whole variety of things and for whole different reasons. And if you are a collector or, you know, you want to be a collector, some people want it and don't know where to start. The things that you get in bookish boxes, perfect like the enamel pins i know some boxes give you a pin with every box so you are bound to to really just get it you get bookmarks you get mugs yeah a lot of book boxes give you mugs every now and then and they even have their own kind of collection within it so you can kind of be like if i stick it through i can have everything in this specific collection to be a collector in the bookish space is fun and the subscriptions really help you out 100 percent, they help you out and outside of really just having the bookish boxes for yourself, 
book boxes make amazing gifts they're so like they're very very thoughtful 100 percent, because like i said they're curated so if you have a friend who loves books or who you know loves you know a specific genre of books you can hunt down a subscription box that does just that obviously you'll have to prepare to subscribe early get that subscription for that time and then obviously keep going or cancel your choice i don't really know um and i don't know how like how they work for um for gifting because to be honest i don't have that many of my friends that read as intensely as i do so you know haven't had to give a, a box but yeah they make really really great gifts like it can be someone's introduction into the book box space or it can really just be something fun like if your friend isn't subscribed and isn't used to you know to getting you know a book with sprayed or stencil edges and bookish trinkets it'll really just be an amazing surprise for them so they really do make amazing amazing gifts and last but not least because i think this is one of the things that is so so important when it comes to book subscription boxes and while i know that this isn't a reason that like a lot of people actively think of i think it really just makes the bookish space better um and that's the fact that bookish boxes really do support like independent artists and shelves because a lot of the bookish boxes you know they'll get their designs um from independent artists so there are a lot of independent artists who have made like a career of designing for specific you know for specific boxes I know artists that are like resident artists for a specific box so it really just gives opportunities to independent artists and independent shops and so it just allows so many opportunities for people like not just people who love to read but really also people who have other talents outside of like being able to read 300 books in a year you know so I think it's just really amazing that this you know this very kind of like niche i guess niche part of the bookish space enhances you know reading for so many and gives a lot to so many that doesn't just include their readers so while yes you know we have definitely you know we are definitely still watching fair loot because of the whole debacle with their throne of glass thing we're not going to use fair loot to say that you know book boxes are a bad thing they're not they're an amazing thing they're a great thing they have great advantages um and they really just put a smile on so many people's faces so while that is a debacle that is a bit chaotic book boxes in themselves are like just so amazing for so many people so if you are looking to get into the book box space you know my recommendations, I really can, I can recommend Illumicrate because I've subscribed to Illumicrate before. Um, I can recommend Owlcrate because I follow them and they always have amazing things. I can recommend Crate because I have followed them for ages and they have amazing things. And one thing I love about Crate is that they specialize in um, filling their boxes with um, books from like um, diverse authors, um, female authors and independent authors. So honestly, amazing, amazing, amazing. They're really the only like fantasy book boxes that I'm really aware of. I'm sure that there are more out there. Obviously, I used to have one and I Omnicrate is still alive and well. But like I said, we've changed our structure. So if you're looking for like a monthly subscription or bi-monthly bi -monthly subscription, you're not going to get it there. But yeah do stay tuned we will have like just random products just to have like really really cute products that you don't have to wait a month or two to receive so that is us but i'm going to stop plugging myself but i will plug myself every now and then because let's be real if you don't plug yourself why should anyone else let's get it into it but yeah outside of that um yeah book boxes can really be just really really a sweet thing to have if you can afford it i never encourage anyone to go for something they can't like i said i subscribed for a while and then when it got too much i just said no <laughs> and i stopped and you know you shouldn't feel under pressure to get something you know just because people are getting it like i said when i first got into it i felt you know like i was left out but that was more so because i didn't know about it <laughs> but I think, like I said, people are, you know, people love interacting with people through a screen. 100% people love actually living vicariously through others. So if you cannot, in the moment, get a subscription box, you know, 
unboxings are alive and well you know do watch as many unboxings as you can until you can finally subscribe but don't stretch yourself and get a box that you can't get but if you can and you want to i would say that it is a great thing to be a part of and to have it really is fun but those are my thoughts um let me know what you think are you subscribed to any subscription boxes which ones how are you finding them like what are your recommendations you know that i haven't listed for boxes that people might be interested in put in the comments let people find a new box and let people just you know enjoy finding new community who love boxes as well but until next time guys that is me i will see you next time because you'll be back right you will be back <laughs> so yeah i'll see you guys next time do be sure to like comment share and if you haven't already subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.